Hello guys, my name is Martinas. Uh, welcome back. And uh, today's video will be slightly different. Since this time I want to compare three different uh, raw engines. Uh, my point would be to show you how raw converter might help you to extract the best details and how they treat the same file differently. So before starting, uh, just a quick notice on raw files. There will be an image from DJI Mini 2 drone. There will be image from Leica Q and there will be an image from iPhone 12 Pro. Okay, so let's try to recover this image. I think we will do four stops as minimum. Let's move our highlight slider all the way down and raise our shadows. Let's test out uh, Skyland Raw Engine, uh, which is actually built by themselves uh, in-house, so it's pretty powerful in my experience. Um, and let's develop the same raw image here. First of all, I choose Adobe Standard Profile and raise the exposure or remove the highlights as you can see highlight slider is pretty subtle however shadow slider is very very strong so just to compare i move the shadow slider in adobe 100 percent and if i do the same here uh, the image uh, looks absolutely destroyed and uh, here is the interesting part even though i have adobe standard profile same white balance settings as in the adobe photoshop I get a colder look than if I would choose Luminar default profile and get back to default settings. Great, now let's do the same adjustments in Pixelmator Pro. And before doing that, I want to say that Pixelmator Pro uses Apple RAW engine and it doesn't let you add any other profile to your image, which is a shame because you're limited to a single one. So let's increase exposure, let's raise the shadows, and let's reduce the highlights. We don't have here a Kelvin adjustments to make a precise adjustment. And here we have our more or less similar looking image as the other two. So first of all, you are limited to 400% exposure increase. And what I can see that the sky itself looks smoother or more like Adobe Photoshop approach. Reducing the black point helped to increase the shadows. Okay, let's evaluate uh, sharpness levels and um, first let's check uh, what Adobe shows us. And uh, here we can see details are still pretty much there. You can see some uh, horizontal stripes, but it's just uh, like a Q thing. I might have an assumption it has still applied some sharpening even though uh, I have turned it off. But it looks uniform, it uh, looks uh, well balanced. So let's evaluate uh, Skyrim's approach and uh, what I see it's pretty similar to what uh, Photoshop is offering. I see more or less the same details in leaves, in branches, in, in tree. The only thing that stands out is the sky which is a lot brighter than here in Photoshop which is more uniform. Okay now let's see what Pixelmator Pro has in terms of sharpness and there I say it doesn't look good at all. I mean, look at that, it's all mushy and it looks like the software applied some heavy noise reduction before even applying this function. Take a look, there's no noise, there's no sharpness, there's very little detail in the tree and you can also see that for some reason the image itself cropped even more. Take a look, it's the side of the image. And you can see there is some additional space here in Skyrim's image and here in Photoshop's image. I had cropped too much, I would say. Okay, if you turn on sharpening, it brings some details back. But it's still, for some reason, it looks like it would be the sharpening applied after a heavy noise reduction. So I think it's Apple's approach to do some adjustments before a user even started out to make image more pop up more vibrant i don't know cleaner look but it's not fair i think because the raw image uh, is supposed to be corrected by user okay here is another image from uh, dji mini 2 drone and let's do some quick adjustments we have adjusted uh, this image in all three programs so let's evaluate photoshop system and uh, what i can see is some strange artifacts going around the sun Mm, this is something weird. Let's see if the highlights... Oh yeah, if I reduce the highlights, I see this sort of thing has appear around the sun. Now, as speaking of Pixelmator Pro, uh, it looks pretty similar to Photoshop attempt to develop this raw image and the uh, overall image looks uh, uniform and uh, 
Photoshop also made this weird artifact. Now here is the Skylux approach and I like this image best. The colors itself look pretty natural to me. There is less a purple cast and also as you can see there is no weird shape around the sun. Now let's look for details. So we can see the rocks, we can see some small stones and uh, it looks pretty good in my eyes. As for Pixelmator Pro, again we have the same issue. It's all blurred out. You can see that it simply cannot match Skylum's detail extraction. You can see that Apple or Engine applied. Some heavy noise reduction even before you asked to do it. Okay, I applied some more brightness uh, adjustment for Photoshop image and what I can see is that uh, color noise is creeping in. But this approach is much better than Pixelmator Pro approach where the software applies heavy noise reduction. Okay, here is iPhone 12 Pro raw image and let's do some quick adjustments. So after a few adjustments, the image looks like this. There is quite a bit of information left in the raw file and Photoshop made a pretty good result here. Now, speaking of Pixelmator Pro approach, I see the highlights uh, slider did pretty weak job. Uh, it still left uh, this part really bright. Some more adjustments, okay. Same goes for Luminar Neo. Still, you can see that some highlights are still way too bright. I turn off sharpness and uh, let's zoom in. Okay, so leaves have nice details and it's pretty impressive for uh, quite an old iPhone. Here is Pixelmator Pro approach and again I see some weird things going on. Speaking of details, it looks pretty okay to me. However, the background blur is again, it has some sort of waxy feel, waxy look. In Skylands approach, I see that it didn't resolve very well this image because the highlights are still blown out. Speaking of details, it's all it's all good, it's okay. It doesn't have the waxy feel of Pixelmator Pro, however, highlights are not saved here. Photoshop did an excellent job again. Plus, I can alter this image by just adjusting uh, Apple RAW slider. And it's strange to me that Pixelmator Pro doesn't have this feature since it's using Apple so the Apple based raw engine. Okay, one more picture to go. So uh, I applied the same adjustments for this underexposed dog image. What surprised me, both Photoshop and Skylum didn't save a lot of highlights. However, Pixelmator Pro did a better job in the nose area. I turned off sharpening here in Photoshop. You can see the fur details here uh, very easily. It looks sharp even without additional sharpening. Uh, same goes for Skylum. Uh, I really, really like how this software extracts the details. I mean, it looks very uniform, really well balanced. It, however, I can see that probably some sort of noise reduction have been applied, even though noise reduction is turned off because in Photoshop's image, I can see some color noise creeping in again and here I don't see it but anyway the details are very very clear I like it a lot now in Pixelmator Pro image all I can see is a waxy heavily noise reduced image it lacks details it uh, lacks definition and again it's just me that uh, noise reductions have been applied even sharpening filter doesn't help it looks like I don't know webcam photo with added sharpening filter. Okay, so what's my verdict then? First of all, I want to give a round of applause to Luminar Neo because in recent years the software became so much faster. It's still not on the same level in terms of speed as Pixelmator Pro. However, where it shines, it's uh, their own raw engine which is really powerful and it showed us today. It is capable to resolve so many details and to provide a good balance in terms of sharpness, in terms of overall look. Uh, in some cases, I think it's a pure winner here in this test. So what's my opinion on Adobe's engine? Uh, well, an overall image quality is uh, very well balanced. It doesn't require you to mess a lot with sliders. So Adobe proved once again that it's really capable and well-established player that it might be hated for subscription model, but when you need consistent raw developer that ticks all the boxes, it's the Adobe one. 
And speaking of Pixelmeter Pro, well, as much as I like the software and uh, its approach to whole editing process, I think it clearly lost the other two softwares because I think Apple Engine in general struggles to keep up that with other two in terms of overall image balance and uh, uh, overall look. It's okay, but for critical work, it's no go. You can't rely on Raw Engine, which applies noise reduction so heavily that it makes the details go on. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.